welcome to another Screaming Frog Quick Fire Guide, this time on custom configuration. In the licensed version of the tool, you can adjust the configuration, save custom configuration profiles, and set your own default custom configuration. That could be super powerful and help save a ton of time. So first of all, you can adjust the configuration just by clicking on the configuration menu. So for example, I could set the user agent to Googlebot, I could select cruel href lang and I could choose to exclude certain URL strings from being crawled with a word in it. And to save this as the default configuration, I just need to go to file configuration and click on save current configuration as default. This means you can close the application and when you restart it, your settings will be saved and remembered. You can also clear and return to the SE Spider's default configuration by just going to File Configuration and clicking on the Clear Default Configuration option here. There is another option. You can also save custom configuration profiles by clicking on Save As. You can see that I have three custom configuration profiles here saved here as .seo spider config files. Now these could be saved around specific websites that have uh, individual settings that you like to use every time you crawl them, or they could be set uh, around individual settings as well. So for example, I have a custom configuration profile set up for Google mobile JavaScript rendering, and I also have one set up for social meta tags extraction. Um, for custom extraction, which means that I don't have to input the XPath syntax every single time I want to extract social meta tags, I can just load in that custom configuration profile. Now, the great thing about these uh, profiles is that they're saved as files, as you can see. So these can be copied out, you can save them to the desktop, and they can be shared with colleagues or friends to ensure that you have the same configuration in a crawl, or if you wanted to share complex excludes, custom extractions, or custom searches, you can just save your configuration file and share it with them that way. So, and these can be loaded back in really easy just by clicking on file, configuration, and clicking on load. If I click load recent, I can see social meta tags here. If I click that, configuration is loaded successfully. And then I can see that my custom extraction for social meta tags is available here. And this saves me having to copy and paste or write this in every time. You can see open graph and Twitter cards here. Another really important element of custom configuration is using them with the scheduling and command line. So scheduling is available under file, scheduling, if you click add, you can see a number of options here. However, not all options and settings are available here. The inbuilt scheduler doesn't have every option available within it, it just wouldn't be realistic. So the trick here is to adjust your configuration and then save the configuration profile and then choose it here in the crawl config. You can just browse and choose your configuration profile. So that can be adjusting user agents, setting excludes, even choosing the date range around Google Analytics or Google Search Console, whatever it might be. Any settings that aren't available in here can be saved as a configuration profile and then supplied. And the same goes for command line. It doesn't have every option available to supply as a command line argument. So again, save your custom configuration profile and then supply that via the command line. So another little tip as best practice, we recommend using the file config and clear default configuration option before every crawl. If you're adjusting your configuration often, often playing with settings, then it can be really good practice to remember that. Otherwise, you might be surprised when you run a recall and certain elements aren't collected because you've disabled certain settings. For example, if you're running a JavaScript crawl and you've disabled the crawling of images or JavaScript or something along those lines. So if you have your own default configuration, remember to load that in. If you don't and you just prefer to use our SEO Spider default configuration, then use the clear default configuration option. That's everything on custom configuration. Thanks.